In this video, we will show you how to create and import fixture profiles in your user library. The Enigma M4's user library is where you will store fixture profiles that you create yourself or import from previously saved R20 files. To get started, go into Setup and then Manage Fixture Library. We are going to create our own fixture, so we will press Add New Fixture. In the dialog box that comes up, we will be asked to input the fixture's name, manufacturer, and number of DMX channels. To find this information, you will need the fixture's user manual. For our example, we are going to use this fictional LED spot. You see on the screen the DMX chart from the manual from our fixture. We will use LED spot for the name, Blizzard for the manufacturer, and 10 for DMX channels. You will now see the model name in your list of user fixtures on the left and a spreadsheet of your 10 channels on the right. We will now start configuring each of these channels by selecting them, starting with channel 1 and pressing channel attribute. In this window, you will see a list of attributes that correspond to the attribute keys on the console. We will select intensity since the first channel on our DMX chart is the dimmer. We can choose from the list of available names on the right, or we can type in our own name in the text entry field at the top. We will select Dimmer. At the bottom of the window, we have the following fields. DMX channel set. This is what DMX channel you're currently working on. Next to that, you have a field to enter a fine channel. Since channel two in our profile is the fine channel for Dimmer, you will need to use encoder wheel D to select 2 as your fine channel. The next field lets you choose from HTP, LTP, and Instant LTP. For a dimmer channel on the Enigma M4, always use HTP. Moving on, we have Locate Value Set. This is where you will set your locate value of the fixture. The locate value is a number between 0 and 255 not a percentage. For our dimmer channel, we want it to come up to full intensity, so we will enter 255. Now we can set the page and wheel that we will use when you want to program this attribute. There are three pages per attribute, and you can choose from wheel A, B, or C. The console will suggest a default location based on the attribute and name you choose, but you can change it to whatever you want. When you're finished, press Confirm. Now we will move on to channel 3. Channel 3 is a shutter channel, so we will choose intensity and then strobe. But you will see on our DMX chart that the shutter is closed at zero. So we have two options. The first is to set the locate value to 255 so that the shutter will be open when we locate the fixture. Or we can set the channel to inverted so that zero is now open and the shutter will be open all the time unless we choose to close it. For the rest, we will use LTP and the default wheel locations. If you run into any errors marked in red, do not worry. The console assigns wheels to all channels regardless of these errors, and will usually correct themselves by the time you are done. Next, we will put in our pan and tilt channels on the pan and tilt attribute, and use the value of 127 for locate. We use 127 because this is the midpoint for the pan and tilt, and usually has the fixture pointing straight up 
or straight down. Feel free to set this value to whatever makes for a good starting position for you. RGB will go under the color mix attribute because to make secondary colors, you mix them together. If you have a color wheel or other function that generate just static colors, you would use the color attribute category. You should always set the locate values for your three primary colors to 255 so that your fixture will open up to a mixed white color. The last two channels, Gobo, will go in under Gobo 1 attribute, and Reset will go in under Control, both with a locate value of 0. Now that we're done, we can press Exit, and you're done. Now we will show you how to load in a fixture from the system library so that you can modify it to suit your personal preferences. From the Setup menu, press on Manage System Library, then press Import from Internal Library. You can use the keyboard to search. We will search for Blizzard. Then press Confirm. This displays all the models available from Blizzard in our internal memory. We will select Wink in 19 channel mode and then press confirm. You will see that the Wink profile is now in the user library and by pressing on it, you can display its DMX profile. Now, we will modify the shutter channel because the Wink's shutter is closed at zero. So we will select the shutter channel and then press channel attribute. Just like when we were creating a fixture, a window will pop up allowing you to adjust its settings. We will change the locate value to 255 and then confirm. Press exit and confirm to save the changes. This will not change the original profile saved in the system library. To use this new profile, you will have to patch this profile into the fixture patch. Please note, you cannot change to a new or modified profile on an existing fixture without losing all of your programming for that fixture. So get your profiles exactly how you want them first. If you have an R20 file that you've received from a dubious friend or equally credible online source, like me at Blizzard, you can load it into your user library by copying it to a USB memory stick and use the import from external file. Once you select the R20 file, you will press import R20 and you will see it loaded into your user library.